speak first. Uh, thanks again for coming out. Thanks for your time uh, and your attendance this evening. It's nice to see a lot of people back into the political process. Uh, again, I'm just going to rehash because I believe I have shown uh, that I have the leadership qualities that are needed for this position. I know I have the skills to organize, educate, engage, and encourage um, people to get back in politics. And I certainly have the passion uh, to be in politics to do this every day. Uh, with that line of communication, uh, I believe that introducing legislation and voting on that legislation will be standard operating procedure here. Uh, again, I, I've presented solutions here, solutions to many of our major problems. Uh, just if we look at Ripon, we need to embrace our roots, our deep roots here, both in hemp history and political history. Dems, Free Soilers, and Whigs went into the birthplace of the Republican Party and came out Republicans. It's time for us to enter a new era, new era of politics. Vote smart, vote sell tougher. John Bowick. Thanks again for coming tonight. Um, I hope that you've seen that there is some differences between the candidates that are here before you today. I think it's time to, to get Wisconsin um, going down the, the right path, path fiscally. Um, I think that we need a, uh, a change in culture in Madison that will help us do that uh, from the, from, right from the, uh, from the top of the ticket. Um, on down, um, we need to uh, be more focused in our priorities. We need to do a better job in uh, accountability for the uh, for the um, um, uh, programs and processes that we want to keep in uh, order. And I think over the last three terms, I've brought to Madison and to the 41st district um, the attitude that we had in business, which was good customer service. A lot of what we do is being a state legislature is being responsive to the people of the district. And that's that's what I have striven to do and I ask for your support on Tuesday. Thank, thank you. you. Scott Mill Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank the League of Women Voters for sponsoring this forum and thank all of you for joining us. I'm Scott Milheiser and I want to be your assembly representative. I'm not a wealthy business owner and I don't come from a privileged background. I'm a working guy who's been punching a clock my entire life. I know what it's like to live paycheck to paycheck, scrimping and saving to make ends meet while the rich get richer. I have a vision of a Madison where Democrats and Republicans work together to solve the problems that we all face. Next Tuesday, you have a choice to make. The choice of a three-term incumbent who's voted along party lines 93% of the time, or another candidate who sees marijuana as the answer to every problem we face. Or you can choose me, Scott Melizer, a working guy anxious to reach across the aisle and work together to solve our problems. It's time for a fresh face with fresh ideas. I'm Scott Milheiser and I'm asking for your vote on November 2nd because I believe that if we work hard and we work together, then we can create a better and stronger Wisconsin. Thank you. That concludes our forum this evening taking place in the Ribbon City Council Chambers on Thursday, October 28th. We hope all citizens will be voters and express their choice on Election Day, Tuesday, November 2nd, and that this forum has given you some helpful information about the candidates. The League of Women Voters of the Ribbon Area thanks you for being our guests this evening and for your interest in good government. Good evening.